yes. Ba -da -da -da. To me, MCBS is all about learning more, taking advantage of all my opportunities that come my way. I want to be able to learn more while networking and getting to meet new people in the industry of MCBS and all that it has to offer, such as Brittany. I met her in my VDM class. Other people that I look forward to meeting are Emily Ray is the instructor in the survival guide that stood out the most to me because she likes a lot of the same things as me, such as traveling, working out, hanging out with friends. I like the fact that she likes to make things that are pretty. That makes sense as well because I think that that's super important. For instance, take this picture. It's pretty, but it's not practical. Doesn't make any sense. And take this picture, practical, pretty, and makes sense. So I really look forward to hopefully meeting her and getting to know more about her. The first piece of advice that stood out to me was that you need to embrace the fear of failure because I'm always so terrified of failing and not being good enough that I often don't put myself out there enough. So I decided to make this graphic to remind myself that it is okay to fail and it's and what you do with it is that you get back up, you learn from it. Failing can actually make you a better person and help you possibly create a better project or um, a better outcome in the end. Next time I mess up, I'm just gonna take a moment, reflect on it and see what I can do and what steps I can take to do better next time. The second piece of advice that I enjoyed was that it's okay to not be as good as um, everyone else. It's not that you're not as good, it's just that you have taken a different, unique approach on something. I just thought that this was really important because a lot of times I compare myself to others and I think that my projects aren't as good as theirs when really I'm just looking at it a different way. Next time I make a project, and I want to compare it and think it's not as good as the other person's. I'm just going to take a moment to step back and realize that, hey, like, my brain processes differently than your brain. And that's okay. The Florida Citrus Sports Collegiate Innovation Challenge article. Because it was something that I had no idea what it was. And I was like, this looks interesting. And then it talked about a hackathon, and I was like, what the heck is that? So, looking at this article then had me researching what hackathon was, and then it had me wondering if this was something I wanted to do. The second article that captured my attention was the Don't Upgrade Your Mac OS to the Catalina, and I was like, what? Um, why not? Because we go to a school that always has the newest and greatest technology and I was like what the heck we go to a pretty techy school where we always have the best technology and it's telling you not to upgrade so I wanted to see what that article was about the pure motivation event that had to do with the central miracle league for Florida and the reason I chose this one was because I love to absolutely help out the community whenever I can and do different projects like that. And I thought, what better way would it be to see if I could do this one? I also saw the open mic event for Full Sail. And that one stood out because I think it's really important to go to events like that because one, you're able to support artists. Um, I have a few artist friends, Lucas, um, Mo, and you're able to network and get to know other individuals. So I thought that that was very cool. Personally, for me, the academic advising department is a very important department to get to know about and learn about because they help you out with all sorts of different issues that um, are academic 
and for me my brother is going to be getting married this is his beautiful fiance and him i'm going to have to take time off for school so they are an important department to learn about how i'm going to be navigating that the opportunities department is an extremely important department because they're all about providing students with upcoming events and projects that they can involved they can get involved with as well as discounts and other perks they can receive this is beneficial so i can get immersed and connected into full sale while doing fun things the co-pilot center is a department to help students who are struggling in school and want some extra help it's known as peer tutoring and students can do walk-ins during the open hours of 9 a.m to 9 p.m a student can also schedule a one-on-one -on -one if they need and they can go to the page and connect with the people in charge if they're interested in being a tutor as well. The library department is about helping provide academic, leisure, or professional materials to students who would like to use them. They have space offered in the library for groups or individuals, as well as multiple different styles of spaces that cater to individual learning styles. Spark is a student production agency at Full Sail that allows selected students to work on projects that are not related to their academics for outside clients. They accept a variety of degree programs and have jobs for every student that involves starting all the way to completing. It is an applicant-based program and they only accept applications every four to six weeks. Student development is a department all about helping aid students in all aspects while they're at Full Sail. They can help aid in things with clubs, professional development, student contact, crises, and victimization. This department has backgrounds ranging from event management to counseling and criminal justice. They're located in Building 2 on the second floor and are open Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. The Student Success Services is a department that is here to assist individuals who are struggling academically. They're in charge of also being the sponsor for all the Student Success Seminars, which if you attend five, you can, you can add 10 GPA points to any class. The Student Success Services also helps to fill out any tutor requests that a student may have while at Full Sail and helps out any students who may face learning challenges or disabilities. The Writing Center is a part of Full Sail's co-pilot tutor center, but they are specialized in helping students with any and all kinds of writing questions or concerns they may have. A student is able to book an appointment by going to copilot.simplybook.me backslash v2 and clicking book now and then writing center. This is a helpful department if students need any kind of writing assistance, whether it be creative or academic. At Full Sail, there are many different clubs and all sorts of options. And when I went on the clubs pages, I was blown away with all the different options. A few clubs that I found interesting was 3,300 plus climbing. And that is a club that has to do with branding and advertising and marketing, which is something I am very into and would love to learn more about. FSEDM is the third club that I found interested and intriguing and thought about possibly joining because I absolutely love music and it's one of my biggest passions but I cannot sing to save my life and I've never had the time to dedicate to getting to know how to mix music or anything like that and I think this club would be a perfect opportunity to get me more into the music side. While you're at school, it's super important to stay organized. And one of the ways that I do that is through some apps. The first app that I have is any.do, as well as Time Tree and My Student Life. These are three different apps that I found. Any.do and Time Tree, you can actually sync up to your Google um, or Apple calendar and then you can put in other events set reminders and i just found that it's another helpful app as well as i made um, all folders for all of my upcoming classes so i'm prepped and prepared so while i was researching i found two websites and two apps that are going to help me while i'm in college and in the industry and just moving forward in life 
I chose Mint because I felt like it would be a useful website to help me with tracking my money and learning more about budgeting, which is important throughout school. I want to get better at managing my money and spending so I can save the most as well as be prepared if I ever want to own my own businesses. As well as Mint is able to help you um, with investments, uh, budgeting, and you're also able to get it in the app version, which I did, and I set up all my money and how much I have to spend and save, and it gives you reminders, and it's able to show you if you overspend, as well as you can put in things like investments and loans, and overall, it's just a very useful budgeting app. The second website that I picked was Headspace. If you go to my.headspace.com, it's a meditation website and I was able to go on, you take a short little quiz about what you wanna learn and then you get just the basic pack unless you wanna upgrade and pay to get the more advanced pack, which I didn't personally think I needed right now. And I just wanna be more focused and learn a little bit more about meditation and I felt that this website could really help me with that. It caters to your needs and it lets you customize it. I think this website's gonna be helpful throughout not just school but life when I wanna remain calm or need help with focus or falling asleep. The two different apps that I found while researching for my own survival guide were Correct Me and Buffer. Correct Me is a grammar app that I chose because I felt while I love Grammarly, it is better on my computer rather than the mobile version and I just wanted this app that was going to help me when I have little papers or little writing blurbs that I want to quickly come up with on my phone so I don't have to put them on my computer and then go through Grammarly. The second app I chose was Buffer and I chose this app because as a media and communications major I want to get more into social media and learning all about it and what better way than to experiment with my own social media accounts. This app will allow me to plan out posts and get feedback from how they do so I can see analytics and learn more. The two media heroes I researched were April Balsam and Alyssa Forentino. Alyssa is one of my heroes because she was able to work for Vogue, which is a company that I only could dream of working for because I absolutely love fashion. And two, she was able to do it in such a short span of graduating from college. She's motivated, driven, and successful at a young age while still showing she's human. April is my hero because she works for a company that I really enjoy, Brandy Melville. And two, she gets to work with internet celebrities that I admire and I dream of working with all the time. And she gets to collaborate with them while still managing social media pages for Brandy. And I just think that that is very motivational and inspiring. Sleep today, but I'ma be okay Miss my family on the east, but fuck it, I can't leave LA Every meeting that I'll be in, trust me, I just